How do the successful differ from the rest? Unfortunately, so many people do not obtain financial freedom because they do not have the right attitude. The most obsolete idea is to work 9 to 5 and get a paycheck. However, the difference between 99% and 1% is not just money. It's the mentality and mindset. Number 5. Rich Mindset Believes in Abundance Over Scarcity Abundance describes a situation where there is more than enough for everyone. The first patch of a rich person's mindset involves the principle of mass of goods. A scarcity mindset believes that there's not enough to go around. Money is tight and hard to earn, so you'd better take care of every penny you earn. We can't afford it or money doesn't grow on trees are statements that not only categorically false, but they're a reflection of the person's scarcity mindset. Rich people don't see things this way. In the world's currency markets, more than 5.5 trillion trades are made every day. Can you imagine how much money that is? And that's only one market. The world stock, bond, and commodity markets also see similar flows. Therefore, money is abundant, not a shortage. Rich people differ from poor people because they think about ways to tap into those money flows to get a piece of the pie. Poor people believe that the world owes them something and they'll never step outside of the box to look for alternative solutions to their problems in life. Listen, don't, don't just make money, make a difference. And uh, make sure you're an impact player wherever you go. And I'm telling you, I've been around wealthy people. We talk about access all the time. But every wealthy person I've ever met, they're generous. And that's a biblical principle. You made me realize, like, I don't know, for, for forever I was chasing the dollars. Yeah. And, like, I thought that would solve all the problems in my life. Never. And it won't. And As I, a matter of fact, it accelerates the problem. Right. And I just want to help people in this life. And so you, you made me realize that. And, uh, that's awesome, and I just, man. I, re I really appreciate you. Number four. Rich mindset knows the entrepreneurship is a mindset. The entrepreneurial mindset is a set of beliefs, thought processes, and ways of viewing the world. With the proper support, attitude, and creativity, anyone can be an entrepreneur because entrepreneurship is a mindset and not an innate skill. Anyone can adopt a perspective. The growth mindset allows entrepreneurs to keep changing and trying new things to improve their processes to create extra effort. You get hungrier for success when you don't have a paycheck coming in. So you want to do your best to break the glass ceiling and achieve the most. But you grow restless at the end to perform your utmost best. And that is when the entrepreneurial mind grows. So really that's the benefit of becoming an entrepreneur is you really find out who you are when you don't have anything. So you always have to look at the big picture. Too many people look at, well, what's, what's going to happen to me? When you look at the big picture, you're also going to know <clears throat> that when something bad happens, something good's going to happen. A natural entrepreneur will have an internal focus because they think there's a lesson in pain even after a loss. An average person will settle down and be scared after taking a hit, but not an entrepreneur. will only go higher and stand back up. A weaker person will be scared of their internal mindset and they're afraid to try, and that fear catches them. Whatever they dread that usually happens, if they're so scared of being unemployed, that will happen. If they're anxious about a loss, that will happen. So an entrepreneur's first job is to control what happens inside, not outside. Number 3. Rich Mindset Understands That The Paycheck Is The Most Damaging Thing People believe in going to school, getting a job, and settling for a mediocre job. But then, you start looking forward to the paycheck. You start dreaming about the money you'll get at the end of the month, which becomes the problem. He said the paycheck was one of the most damaging things you could take in your life. He says the moment you take a paycheck, you're an employee, and that's the mindset. The problem with the paycheck is not that it is evil, but that it makes you a slave to money. When we accept a form of certainty, be it a paycheck or a relationship that provides some value but is far from fulfilling, we are weakened, slowly losing our power in this sweet poison of superficial knowledge and safety. You failed and you come, came back, but I'm going to fail and I'm never coming back. And that's the attitude. Number two, rich mindset is receptive towards education. The most significant compound return does not come from bonds, stocks, or real estate. It comes from education. Most millionaires in the United States were not born millionaires. They learned how to build wealth. 
The more they know, the more they understand the world. And the easier it is to connect the dots, the more money they make. The rich recognize they do not know everything. Nevertheless, the rich are not afraid to seek advice. Wealthy people realize learning comes from everyone. Poor people do not enjoy learning. They care about instant gratification, dislike opposing perspectives, and quickly feel insecure when challenged. Being rich is but a dream for the poor. The poor do not have the intellectual curiosity to learn, so the less financially blessed think that the rich are either born rich, evil, or exploit the poor. They do not recognize that they are mostly poor because of their lifestyle choices. One difference between the rich versus poor mindset is that the rich understand the value of knowledge. They're not part of the 40% of adults who don't crack open a book after graduating high school. Instead, they're reading industry publications to learn more about their field and excel at work. They're finding about money management and personal development so that they do better in life. They're constantly learning. They'll ensure that they keep up their certifications and they'll proactively earn additional knowledge to equip themselves with better tools. Number 1. Rich mindset does not lack in seeing the bigger picture. Poor people think in terms of their immediate environment. As a result, they end up on autopilot and never chase their dreams. If you don't learn to control your environment, then your domain will direct you. And that's the reality we all live in our lives. Rich people take life by the horns and never back down from achieving their goals. A rich person will fantasize about what they want to accomplish in life. They'll spend their free time thinking about how they can grow their business, investments, and potential rewards. Poor people think they'll never escape poverty, and they believe that no matter what they believe, they'll live the same life, destined for poverty. Rich people present their goals to their subconscious minds by thinking about the future and the possibilities. The subconscious is like a permanent recorder of your memory that sits outside of your conscious thinking. However, the thoughts remain in your subconscious, affecting your conscious thought in the process. When rich people build a burning desire to achieve their goal in their minds, their subconscious pays attention, making them more aware of the opportunity when it presents itself. Above all, rich people don't sit around and wait for things to happen. They make them happen. Rich people are masters at taking massive action in their lives. A step is what propels you forward towards your goals. Every step is a step closer to achieving what you want in life. When rich people encounter a pitfall in their financial business plan, they overcome the problem. Poor people don't take any action, and if they do, it's not enough. Remember, for anyone to cross the line from poverty to wealth, you need to change your mindset. Likewise, if you want to get rich, you need to change your mindset and begin to see things from the perspective of the wealthy. Let us know in the comments if these reasons are new lessons for you. Go ahead and write in the comments below which advice from today's video resonates with you the most. We all will be witnesses of you becoming the new you. Also, show us your love and support and smash the like button so YouTube offers this video to many like-minded people like you. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Have a successful day!